Yo, what's up? You come here often? You look, uh, you look kind of familiar. Oh, only on the weekends? <laughs> well, cheers to that, brother. Let's put in some weekend work. All right, so you already know what's good. It's your boy, Spence Brown. We're back again. It's time we're gonna talk about my song, Weekend Work, which is all about just, you know, having a good old time. Weekend work, 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 work. It's still January and I'm dry, so cheers. Have a little laqua. So here we go. So this song started off with me just, I think I was on the couch or something, just cooking on the laptop keyboard, you feel me? The first thing that I came up with was this main kind of pad sound that was out of Serum. So what I like to do on the laptop keyboard, since you don't have much to play with, I'll like pitch it up and down and figure out what key it sounds coolest in. So it actually started off sounding like this. And then I played with it a little bit, pitched it up and down, and finally decided on two semitones up, which then leaves us with this. So that's like the main pad. And then we'll talk about this other kind of pad sound here. And what I did was I just took the same MIDI file and dragged it into a few different instruments. So here we go. This is the other pad sound. So those are the main pads of the song, the main keys kind of. Why don't we talk about this lady Melody again? <laughs> Why do we talk about her so much? So anyways, same kind of thing. I used an ARP on the same MIDI and I used a different serum patch. And so this first melody sounds like this. And to me that just sounds like you're up to no good. Like it feels like you're like a little guy, like sneaking around <laughs> about to cause some trouble. Then the next one that I have here, it was the same MIDI again. This one's bounced down and it sounds like this. So we got kind of the main melodic loops out of the way. Why don't we talk about the drums next, including the hi-hats. Let's start off with the hats. So we have our hat stack here, as usual. If you know me, you know that I like me a good hat stack. Basic 16th note, 8th note, whatever, hi-hat for the main hi-hat. But again, something I like to do is actually do the hi-hat with this kind of rhythm, just to make it feel bouncier and not quite so static. Then we've got a hat roll, as usual. You know how we feel about rolls here. Accent hat. And the accent hat's like a little bit louder than the other ones and a little bit wider. So it kind of like, play, they play off of each other a little bit. And then we have this open hi hat on top of that as well. Not super complicated. I wanted to keep it simple and fun and light so we could just have fun and do some weekend work. You know what I mean? We got those hi hats. Let's talk about the kick and the clap and the snare real quick. So those together all sound like this. And then what we've got is also this perk that just kind of sits in another pocket, just adds a little, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. But yeah, we have this perk sound. And the one last thing before we're done talking about drums is these claps that come in 
just at the end of both the verses to just transition into the hook. And it's two claps layered together. And the first clap sounds like this. And the second clap sounds like this. And then together they sound like this. All right, sounding nice and bouncy and fun and ignorant for a good old time. So we got that stuff out of the way. Why don't we talk about the bass Ooh. next? The bass? Why are we talking about fish? Again, simple, fun, lighthearted. We got this 808 rhythm that is, again, side chain to the kick, and it sounds like this. And as you can hear, it's incredibly distorted. So what I'm doing here is I have a decapitator and then parallel decapitator, which is doing like the highs. So it sounds on its own like this. And that's most of where like the upper kind of saturation stuff is coming from. And then there's also this sub channel, which it, unless you're listening on headphones or you have a subwoofer, you're probably not going to hear that much, but it sounds like this. So that's the drums, the bass, and the melodic elements out of the way. My favorite melodic, my favorite, favorite, favorite? My favorite melodic element is fire. No, I'm just playing. Why don't we talk about some of these extra, just little details, these little effects that I have in here. So yeah, let's talk about the effects next. Only really like two things to talk about here, but they are kind of like, I would say they're major parts of this song. So. One of them is this Snapchat sound effect. This sound sounds like this. And it's from this little thing called Snapchat. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's like for young people. It's like, anyways, yeah, so this is the Snapchat thing. And I like, I just thought this was perfect for this song because I even say it in the song that, um, what do I say? Ooh, the boys just in my life. And so, it's like we're getting a Snapchat and then like throughout the song, you keep hearing the Snapchat thing popping up. So it's like, I keep getting Snapchats. And then I have this little riser that I actually made out of reversing the Snapchat sound. And it sounds like this. And while we're talking about effects, let's just talk about some of these group vocals I got going on in here. These are just made with multiple takes of me. And usually I like back up from the mic and I have some up close and some far away and then some to the right and some to the left. And, and so like, we got this right here. We got this stack, which is all of these kind of vocals. Yeah! Which is <laughs> just, you know, supposed to sound like a bunch of people, but it's just me because I don't have any friends. Someone please be my friend. And so we also got this one, Dang! just to accent the ad lib there. So on the hook, we kind of have the same thing. These are just, just doubled. And then we have a vocal going work, work, work. And then I have a vocal that comes in that accents just every other word. So you have the stack of work in here and then these extra work, work, works and these extra works. So it's a lot of work just to get it to sound like work and just to make it work for weekend work, which is the song that we're talking about. So these sound like this. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. Jeff Bezos when someone takes a bathroom break. With everything included, we got our pads, our melodies, drums, bass, effects, and then the vocals, it all comes together and it sounds like this. And do it all again. Ooh, the boys just in my line. Hit my line, okay. I ain't got too much to do, to do So we gon' have a good time, good time tonight And there's a hidden word in here somewhere that isn't work <laughs> But it's actually... It's actually twerk If you listen to the song and you can tell me where that word is hidden I'll 
fucking like Venmo you like 10 bucks or something. I don't know. But yeah, actually that's, that's it. This is a really simple song. Go ahead and let me know down below uh, if you also like to put in weekend work and you're not a square because me and the boys have never been squares, according to the song. I, that's not me saying it, it's just the song. I, I, I don't know, I can't. If you like the video, please, just do it. Do it. If you really liked the video, consider some some, some, some. If you really liked the video, consider subscribing. I would do it if I were you, but I'm not you, so I can't tell you what to do. But if I were you, I would probably consider it at the very least. I'm Spence Brown. This is weekend work. It's not about actually like going to your job, but it's, it's, you're putting in weekend work. Uh, yeah, it's called weekend work. This is my song. Uh, it's out everywhere. You can go stream it. It's been out since 2021, I think, like middle of 2021. That about does it for me. We'll be back soon with another vid. Uh, this was a quick one. Anyways. Uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, how do I, uh, you hang up first. I don't know, you hang up first. Uh, bye?